Welcome back to my garage. Well, actually, it's my girlfriend's office. In my porting tips video, I stated that raising the exhaust port might not be such a good idea. The high exhaust port will give you a much smaller RPM range where your pipe is in resonance. And Brett Presnil wrote, explain. Why is gaining exhaust area by racing versus widening the port possibly a bad idea? By racing the port, you increase port timing, and here's why that can lead to bad things. When the exhaust port opens, a pulse starts traveling down the pipe. It gets reflected by the rear cone and should return just before the port closes again. This will block fresh mix from escaping and also push some of the mix that has escaped into the duct into the cylinder again. If you raise the port and thereby increase port timing, this pulse will take off earlier and has to return later. This raises your power band in the RPM range, just like a shorter pipe would do. If you have enough specific time area and your internals can take the revs, you will gain power. But there's more. A part of the returning pulse is reflected by the piston and starts traveling down the pipe again. It too is reflected by the rear cone. <laughs> it too is reflected by the rear cone and returns. We want this pulse to return just as the piston is opening the port again. High pressure in the pipe when the port opens. What? Well, Google choked flow. Basically, with the pressure differential and velocity we are dealing with here, the downstream pressure does not matter at all. So this pulse returns just as the port is opening again and it combines with the new pulse and create an even stronger pulse. Then in the next cycle this happens once again and the now stronger pulse is combined with the second pulse and creates an even stronger pulse. And the next cycle and the next cycle and on and on. Resonance. All important when dealing with two strokes. Both the A and B pulse has to travel the same distance. The pipe back and forth. Both pulses travel at the same speed. Well, roughly. One pulse travel when the port is open and one pulse travel when the port is closed. This means that both pulses need the same amount of time to complete their journey and the same amount of time means the same amount of crankshaft rotation. The port has to be open the same amount of time as it is closed. One full rotation, split in half, Now, since it is the peak of the pulse we're interested in, and not just a weak initial start of it, the best port timing for best resonance is about 190 degrees. For every degree you raise the port over this duration, you weaken the resonance. Then why do almost all high performance cylinders have more than 190 degrees exhaust duration? Because at high RPM, with a low port, you will run out of blowdown specific time area. But as long as you gain more RPM than you lose torque, horsepower goes up. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share this video. See you next time.